This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. The topic of this session is the while loop. The while loop is another way of repeating commands in MATLAB. The difference between a for loop and a while loop is that a for loop is generally used when you know the number of repetitions that you want to make, whereas you might use a while loop when you want to continue repeating something until a certain condition becomes false. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples. The first one is a repeat of one of the examples we did with the for loop, but now implemented using a while loop. And the second example is a slightly more involved example. So the first thing we're going to do is use a while loop to compute the first three powers of five. So we'll define our while loop. And after the while loop, we define a condition. And while it is true, the body of the loop is executed. And when it becomes false, the loop stops. So we'll define a variable k, and we'll say while k is less than 3, do the stuff that's in the body of the loop. And the body of our loop is simply going to be taking the first three powers and we're going to assign them to a vector. So we'll use our loop counter k to assign them to a vector. And the calculation is simply 5 raised to the power of k. And once again, we'll leave the semicolon off the end of the line so we can see what happens when the loop executes. Now, there are a couple of things we need to add to our loop. We need to set k equal to 0 before we go into the loop. So we'll do that first. And we also need to increment k within the loop. And if we didn't do that, k would just always be 0, and the loop would execute forevermore. So as per usual, we need to use the end command to end the loop. And now we'll save and run our script. And you can see we've got an error straight away. And that's because we assigned k equal to 0 outside the loop. And when we first used it, we tried to assign something to the 0 element in my power. And that doesn't exist. So all we need to do is move our increment line above our power calculation. So now when we first go into the loop, k will equal 1 before we do our power calculation. So let's try that again. And this time we get, as expected, a vector of values of the first three powers of 5. So in our second example, we're going to look at analysing a series of scores which are held in a row vector. And we're going to use our while loop to scan through the elements in the scores vector and count the ones that are greater than 90. So we'll define our while loop and we'll define our variable k to be less than 4 i.e. the number of elements in scores. We'll then do our counter increment first. And now the doing bit of our loop has to analyse is the score greater than 90? So to do that we're going to use an if statement and say if scores k, which gives us the current element greater than 90, then we'll define a variable called count and we'll say add 1 to it if it's greater than 90. And we'll end our if statement there and we'll end our while statement. And when we're finished we'd quite like to know the value of count so we'll use the disp command to do that and num to string to convert count from a number into a string. Now the only other thing we need to do 
is before we go into the while loop, we need to define k and count, and we need to set them both equal to zero. So now we can run our loop. And you see that scores is printed. And then we display the number two, which is the two values that are greater than 90. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.